All right, today we're going to talk about the directionality of DNA strand. So over here we have 5 prime to 3 prime, and then we have a G base and then T base. So you guys should be able to draw this on your test, so we're going to talk about how we're supposed to draw that. So one thing that you guys have to know is that we have to have our 3 prime end, a free hydroxyl group. And the reason that we're supposed to have three prime free uh, hydroxyl group is that we, as we synthesize our DNA strand, um, we will be adding our new bases from three prime free hydroxyl group. Okay. And now our five prime end, five prime end, it will always be phosphorylated. Okay. So on the test, if you guys see a diagram um, with if you guys see a diagram of a DNA strand, and then one end is phosphorylated and the other end is not phosphorylated, then we can tell which one is 5 prime in and which one's 3 prime in. So for this one, I'm just going to, for the simplicity, I'm just going to uh, draw my diagram really simple. But let's first start with our sugar. So we have a DNA. So our second, second prime in, we have uh, no oxygen. And then we have a base, and this base over here must be G because we're starting from 5 prime. And this is our 5 prime end. And at the, at the end of the 5 prime end, we have to have it phosphorylated. And as we said before, 5 prime end, we are always going to have a phosphorylated group. So this 5 prime end phosphorylated group, that's indicating uh, our T base. So we just follow what we have drawn before. And this will be T base. Okay. So this phosphate group will be the linkage, phosphodiester linkage between these two bases. And over here, this carbon is 3 prime end. And 3 prime end, like we said before, if we want to count the directionality, then we have to have our 3 prime end free, uh, have a 3 prime free hydroxyl group. So if you guys are given a diagram, um, it doesn't say which one's 5 prime end, which one's 3 prime end, but you guys do see that at one end, you see a phosphorylated group, and at one end, you see a free hydroxyl group, then you can tell which one's, uh, which way, which end is 5 prime end, which one's 3 prime end. And this is how you basically draw this 5 prime end to 3 prime end GT base DNA strand.